You know that feeling when you've been eating chippy after chippy and you're full and happy, but then there's a big pile of chip packets next to you and you don't know what to do with them? OK, that's not actually a huge problem in life, but you know what are huge problems? Landfills and homelessness. Neither of these problems have an easy solution, but one Kiwi has come up with a way to chip away at both at the same time. Enter the Chip Packet Project. This organisation turns foil food packaging into thermal blankets and donates them to people who need them. They collect all those unused chip bags, iron the pieces together and voila, a blanket. It's a way to extend the life of garbage and make life a bit better for our fellow Kiwis. But we have questions. So joining us now <laughs> is Terina Griffiths from the Chip Packet Project. Terina, OK, elephant in the room, ironed chip packets don't sound like they'd be very warm to me. <laughs> oh, Jesse. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just being honest. So you've forgotten. Yeah. yeah you're OK. That's OK. I'm going to make a little bit of noise, so just hang on to the microphone for a minute. Right. But I have a blanket in front of me. And if I turn it over, so it's a little bit... I'm not showing the name of the packets. No. But if I turn it over, can you see the silver there? Mm. Yeah. So that's the thermal effect. It is the silver that reflects the, your body heat back into you. Talk me through the ironing process. Like, do, do you need a glue or is it just the heat? Do it how? It sounds like it's a bit of a skill. Ah, <laughs> oh, but it's not an ironing process. It's a fusion process. Oh, And okay. I have a very interesting piece of equipment here mm. that might look like an iron, but honestly, it is a foil fusion device. <laughs> and it simply is a zip, zip, with a bit of baking paper, just a zip zip, that's all it takes to fuse the pieces of foil together. Wow. And Tarina, are you giving these to directly to people? Are you providing them to organisations? We at Chip Packet Project do not have the skills to be able to work with those on the street. There are many in New Zealand who have those skills and are well educated. So we partner with social services. And what have they been saying to you? Well, we've given this a bit of a go for 12 months to see what the reaction in New Zealand was going to be, because it is really bizarre. And they have been seen as a huge tonga out on the street. It is fantastic. Well, sounds good to me. And any excuse to eat bigger packets of chips, right? <laughs> I mean, do, do you prefer sort of family-sized packets over the little snack ones? I'm not advocating or suggesting that we eat more chips. OK. But what we are... It takes 25 family-sized packets to make one blanket. Anything we can't fuse, we use as pillow stuffing, cos we make pillows as well. Well, Tarina, great idea. Well done, and thanks for telling us all about it tonight. Project Look, Kuna Forest is here! <laughs> oh, yeah. Kuna, you know, thanks for having me. Just doing my bit, you know, yeah. just doing my bit. Do you guys want to know what she means by pillows? Yeah, <laughs> they sound like you'd be tired and then you'd wake up immediately with all the crinkling. Yeah, yeah. we'll get her back for an interview about that. But um, I do I'm think the world needs more people like Tarina who yes. are just super passionate about something specific and they just they just want to put good out into the world. Right. So, you know, thank you for your selflessness. No worries, guys. guys. Can I have that bag? I want to try that ironing thing. I'm going to try it tonight. At oh, home. cool. Um, Definitely. And biscuit, biscuit wrappers are foil as well, aren't they? So yeah. I suppose if you got through a packet of chocolate thins, you can contribute in your own way. Um, all the details to find out how to do it, where to go, that sort of thing, are on our Facebook page if you want to help out.